So let's call to order 618. Um, present is Carrie Donaldson, Elena Testa, Jeffy Gidman, Joy Rona. Um, speaking on behalf of uh, Mr. Roseboro is Hope. Hope, what, what, what's your last name? My last name's Gove. Oh, Gove, okay. Yeah. All right, excellent. Um, so our first piece of business is treasurer report. We don't have one. Hopefully this is the last uh, month that we don't have one. So we will go to item B, the director's report. Um, I had emailed everybody earlier today the information that the director had emailed to me. Has, did everybody have a chance to see that? Yes. All right, excellent. Um, so Hope, do you want to go over that information for us? Yeah, of course. Um, hi everyone, I'm Hope Gove. I'm the library's intern and I will be representing the library director. Um, I've been working under the mentorship of Mr. Roseboro for about two months now. I'm currently an undergraduate at Post University working towards a bachelor's degree in human services. Um, I completed my first practicum at the library. It was a great experience. The staff were great, Clee was great. I really appreciate everyone there. I had no clue really about administrative tasks before entering, and now I feel like I have a solid foundation under Mr. Roseboro's leadership. Um, I'm here to do what I've been delegated to do, so I wanna jump on into summarizing the board notes. I wanna just bring everyone's attention to May 2nd, which um, is when the CLA Library Resource Sharing Survey was completed. I just wanted to mention that the survey was a post COVID-19 response survey, which was related to cost sharing. Next, I just wanna bring up the non-essential order that was issued by the governor. Uh, because of this order, the staff has yet to be permitted back to work. The director is excited for the staff to return. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, with when permitted to do so, he has been conversating with other library directors, he has been a part of meetings to keep up to date with the situation. I have personally observed him strategically addressing the issue and have also been involved in the planning of appropriately integrating the staff back into the work environment when the time comes within the restrictions of the state. And just speaking of the town's restrictions, we recently have added to the website the importance of keeping any and all library materials at home. As someone has been leaving boxes, I am extremely sorry for the phone, full of materials outside the library each day, despite the signs that clearly say not to do so. I started with one box. I think we have now three boxes and a stack of mag magazines outside the library, even though there's clearly signs there. We don't want to compromise anybody's health, so we just appreciate it if members of the town would keep all of their materials until further notice. Um, finally, I just wanted to talk about the construction grant we're applying for, uh, which will enable us to modify the space for joint collaboration with the Park and Rec Department. We have three letters of support so far, which is great. Um, also, the prerequisites for the grant have already been accomplished. They're all taken care of. I was instructed by the director to take part in this construction grant information session that was held back in April which is very informative. And this collaboration will enable us, will enable the unification of both departments to qualify for supplementary funding in the form of grants and additional staff that will not have to come out of our allocations. The end result of this process has a lot of benefits, um, some of which include reducing our expenditures and overhead, but the primary focus is the enhancement of programming that we'd be able to bring to the table. Um, we look forward to creating a task force which will be open to residents to gain community engagement, to assess and evaluate the library's relevance to the community's needs. Uh, Klee showed me around the building to show me the ideas of this process, and as he was doing so, I could see it come to life. 
Um, as a citizen of Willington myself and through working closely with the director, I'm really excited to be a part of the process as we move forward. And that's it. All right, thank you. Um, questions for, for uh, Mrs. Gove. Uh, the chair recognizes Elena Testa. Yes, uh, hello, Hope. You know what, oh, that's it. Sorry, my husband was cooking. I had to put the, to, to block you from noises. Um, I have two questions to you. I don't know if you can answer. First of all, I kind of missed the situation. So we are not collecting books back now for the safety reasons? Um, yes, we have on the website. It's still not safe to take in books. So we've posted on the doors. We've put on the websites. If everybody could just hold on to their materials, we are not charging them for any late fees or anything, but the materials that were brought were not library materials. Uh, they were, yeah, they were, don't, I think, meant for donations, but still, any library materials or anything of that nature, we would just like to keep out of the library for now. Okay, and then um, I did not understand there are, there are questions about the grant. Did we apply, the library applied for some joint grant with the recreation department? What was that? I totally yeah. didn't Yeah, uh, we are in collaboration with the Park and Recs department uh, for this grant. Okay, so, and the, the grant was approved already? Uh, that I would have to have you asked the director as I do not want to state an okay. incorrect answer. Okay, so what was the purpose of the grant? The purpose of the grant is a collaboration that will bring the Park and Recs Department inside of the library. Um, some of the services we discussed so far include a before and after school program, um, virtual learning for the students of Willington. So, um, well, sorry, Elena, I, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. I see that Maureen, uh, you're on the call. Um, I know that you and Clea have worked together on this. Would you be willing to make a few comments about it? Maureen, if you can hear me. Hi, yes, I can. Um, hi, this is Maureen Parcell. I'm the director of Parks and Recreation. Um, I have spoken um, a little bit with um, Clee about collaborating on um, certain programs um, and working with uh, the library. Um, part of that collaboration would mean moving my office to the library. Um, one of the things um, that the recreation department um, struggles with is space. Um, there isn't a lot of space in town. I know that we use the library for yoga programs, but there's so much more um, that we could use the library for. Um, and if we had a collaboration working with the library and the, and the recreation department, there's so much more that we could do um, that would benefit um, the community. Um, so some of the, these are just very early stages of, of talking with Clavel. Um, I know that he's in the process or looking at, at a grant. Um, I don't have all the details of that grant, um, but that is something that Clee is looking into. Um, and it, it would mean a, a collaboration between the two of us, between the, the recreation department and the library. And it would benefit the entire community. Thank you, Maureen. Um, You're welcome. Chair recognizes Elena Testa. Thank you. Elena Testa, Vice Chair. So um, I had like five minutes to read the letter because I did not know there was an email with all these documents. Um, I have a question to Maureen. Uh, as I understand and to hope, as I understood from both of you, there, there was no actual applying for the grant. It's just a possibility of applying to the grant. Is it correct? Uh, this is Maureen Parcell. Um, I don't know if it has, if, if Clee has applied for it yet or if it's something that's happening in the future. Okay, thank you. Because uh, before applying and according with our policies, uh, our board, he needed to represent all the grants which he's going to apply, he needs to represent it to the board. And I think it's a great um, opportunity to do it. I'm just saying that it has to be followed. 
uh, but I have a question about that merging. Um, my question is, by reading this letter, and again, I had, I had five minutes to look at it. Um, so it says that there is a possibility for future partnership. So the partnership between, between recreation department and the library. And the second paragraph said, merging the library and the parks and recreation department under one roof. So by merging, is it just, just physical moving? So we're gonna rent you, you, you will rent a space for us. Or what does it include? Because if merging includes more just us giving you a space, then it really had to, there is lots of liabilities involved in it. There is a lot of additional policies should be written. So I just don't want to jump and vote on it before we really have a chance to discuss it, to have a quality discussion and understand what it really involves. So that's my question. So what that merging involves? Thank you. Uh, this is Maureen Parcell. As far as I know, the merging just means my office physically moving into the library um, so that it's easier to work on programs together. So we would be collaborating. I believe HOPE would be a, would be a big part of that as well. Um, utilizing um, HOPE, um, you know, collaborating, um, creating programs for um, the entire town. Um, that is as far as the merge goes that that I'm aware of. Um, it's really just moving my physical office into the library. So if people are coming in, if I'm if I'm hosting a program in the library, Elena, um, those families would come into the library. They would be able to utilize the library, your library, read books, you know, while their kids are partaking in possibly um, maybe a cooking class. Um, maybe in um, whatever kind of an activity that we may have. Um, so it's really kind of a, a one-stop shop where um, families, it would bring a lot more um, families into the library, hopefully. Thank you, Maureen. Um, I, I see you, Kathy. Let me just say one thing before I give you the floor. Um, the grant has not been applied for yet. And the director will elaborate on this further at, at our next meeting. This is just a, a very basic introduction to this uh, uh, process. So no grants have been applied for yet. Um, I, I guess the application is due June 1st. So we'll, we'll discuss things uh, before then. Uh, the chair recognizes Kathy. Uh, Kathy Ryan Gidman, library board member. I think you may have um, preempted my question with an answer, Carrie. But um, yeah, so I don't, it sounds like uh, Hope and Maureen um, don't know the details yet and they haven't been put into motion, even if there are. But I guess my questions just are, to whom is this grant being applied? I mean, is it a state um, funded thing? And when it, you had started Hope by saying it was a construction grant. So Maureen, does that mean you're envisioning um, some renovations happen uh, to the building in order to move you into that space? Or are you imagining building on additional uh, things? I mean, I know it's very preliminary and nothing is formalized, um, but I'm just curious what that vision looks like, why it's even being called a construction grant. Thank you. Sure, uh, um, so this is Maureen Parcell. So um, again, I'm not gonna get too much into the grant because I don't know um, all of the specifics about it. Um, these grants are to bring the community together. So it's to bring a parks and rec department together along with a library so that they can collaborate for their community. Um, my physical space, as far as I know, there is no construction that's needed for that. Klee has already been looking within the library. I believe he's already talked to some of the employees there about where my physical office would be. And there is no um, construction that would be needed for that. Um, I believe that Klee is looking into other options. I believe you have a wing in the downstairs area of your library that was never finished when the library was built. Um, I believe those are future projects that he's looking at. Um, and I believe that part of that grant could be used to, um, to finish a portion of that downstairs area. Again, I, I am not 100% sure of that, but I know those are that's one of the things that um, Klee was talking about. All right, thank you, Maureen. Um, to clarify, the grant is with the Connecticut Library Association, Kathy. 
All right, any other questions on uh, the director's report? Uh, the chair recognizes Elena Testa. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. I have to unmute myself. Uh, Elena Testa, Vice Chair. Um, also, I wanted to know um, if we are working in any way on continuing to serve the town as soon as possible to, re to restart serving the town and which ways it could be done. Because I know there are uh, many different ways at this point considered, starting from buying e uh, electronic material, electronic books, electronic programs, electronic now electronic versions of movies investing into that so we would because we do have money for providing all that material so it's up to us to choose what type of material we buy so if uh, many people are scared to use a uh, paper material so maybe we should emphasize on investing into the electronic versions of library materials that's my number one question and my number two question is um i wonder if at any point we considered or maybe we should consider from the safety point when we open up the library maybe do not let uh people first couple weeks to see how it works i'm just suggesting i'm just it's my thought about it just to let people do not let people go around but pick their material online and then go to the library and pick up already prepared pre-ordered order just to uh eliminate unnecessary wondering maybe i'm i'm just it's my thoughts and my asking if anything of it was considered thank you thank you elena hope do you yes you able to speak to any of this Yep, I can actually say that there has been a lot of talk about a lot of those issues. I personally don't want to go into any details because that's the director's place and not mine, but we have been talking about some programs and uh, a lot of guidelines along similar terms that you were describing. So I would just contact the director for further information. All right, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, the director will be sending out a video uh, a video to the board on Wednesday once he's able to speak again. So hopefully a lot of these questions will be addressed and we'll have some idea about how the library is going to be able to serve the, the community soon. Carrie, can I, Erica Wyszynski? Yes, the chair recognizes Erica Wyszynski. Erica Wyszynski for Selectman. Um, I, I'll just, to Elena's points, please definitely, as Hope said, looking at, at many different avenues, but until um, the direction from the state and the town says that the library is open, it's remaining closed. Um, and we're working uh, again with the state to, um, to ensure that can happen in a safe manner. So the only thing that's keeping us from functioning right now is that it's considered non-essential business and um, we're working with the state library to get these things up and running. So it's making sure we have safe protocols. Um, and I know that as soon, um, as soon as we can do that, we're gonna get the library open. All right, thank you, Erica. I, I, I know we're all anxious to yeah. be able to use the uh, the resources as soon as safely possible. So I know that everyone at the library is just waiting for that that order from the, the governor. So um, if that's the end of questions for the director's report, we'll move to present to speak, which there is nobody. So we'll move to communications. Um, under communications, uh, Liz Perry has indicated that she oh. Mary, i apologize can i unmute the uh caller on the phone in the event they had chosen to sure participate um. um liz perry indicated that she is Life's stepping gone. down from the board however we're waiting for her to send a signed letter to the town clerk until we get that letter, we can't do anything in terms of recommending um, a new person to the Board of Selectmen. So I don't know if anybody is in contact with Liz Perry. I've sent her a number of emails and have not heard anything. 
if anyone you know knows her or runs into her if you could impress upon how important it is to get that signed letter into the town clerk um then we can uh, move ahead with seating a new member for the board during the course of this meeting i did check with our town clerk to double check she's been going in in the evenings to do some work and she still has not received it so okay um all right so moving on to old business old business oh recommendation of vacant seat i just talked about that we, we can't discuss that yet um election of treasurer we have not had a treasurer since the new board uh came around so we need to have a discussion about that we need to get one i open up the floor to discussion nominations everybody looking pregnantly at kathy <laughs> the chair recognizes <laughs> elena testa that's exactly what i wanted to do i wanted to nominate kathy if she'll if she'll accept that nomination <laughs> oh kathy uh kathy ryan gidman board member i was actually hoping karen ann would be present tonight because i think she would do a far better job than i can um given that she's in this uh, you know a field of science herself i i don't think that i'm your woman for this job but um yeah this is not my area of expertise i do remember talking briefly to uh karen ann about it and she didn't immediately run from the room when it was suggested <laughs> um so you know i i don't know if can it wait sorry no i don't know if we you know want to wait until we do have karen ann um any any ideas on that one all right oh the chair recognizes elena testa i know we need the treasure how about i will i i don't really want to do it i have a lot on me that's the truth but i can do it until we get in touch with karen in or maybe we should try to get in touch with her and then before the special meeting and hopefully she says yes but if we need it right now do we have an urgency for that um nothing that leaps to mind there's no particular new fire that we need to put out just the fact that we haven't had one and we definitely need one. Then maybe we can just uh, put it for the next meeting agenda and make sure we uh, get in touch with Karen in on the phone before the meeting to make sure that she she's attending, if she's interested, so we would have it clear. All right, so the uh, I'll submit a motion that we table the election of a treasurer until next meeting. Do I have a second? I second it. All right, all those in favor of tabling election of treasurer until next meeting, say aye. 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 So that is Elena Testa, Kathy Gidman, Carrie Donaldson. Joy, did I didn't hear your vote. Sorry, you were on mute. I said aye. Okay, excellent. Um, all those opposed? Okay. Um, so let's move on to new business. First item under new business is a bylaw and policy update subcommittee. Um, this is one of the things that the outgoing board had mentioned would be something that we would want to definitely tackle um, quickly. So um, let's start talking about that one, updating our policy, updating our, our bylaws, having a subcommittee to sort of do the heavy lifting and go through the weeds and bring it to the whole board i open the the floor up to discussion the chair recognizes elena testa elena testa vice chair uh i think it's so important and i think one it's not just important to um correct and update all the policies and make them working it's also there is a second factor it's important to make them available for everybody so it's important after everything whatever is updated in the, as soon as it is updated so it would be posted on our regular website and they would we, nobody would have to go through the process of seeking and looking for them and going through unnecessary things so it should be that's a whole goal for the policy committee to fix them to correct them to uh, update them to say not to fix them correctly i would say to update them and to place them on the website 
available, be making available for everyone. That's what they wanted to say. Thank you, Rona. Carrie? Uh, yes, the chair recognizes Joy Rona. Joy Rona, secretary. Um, I agree with Elena and I agree with you also, Carrie. I know that the old board, we were working on some of the policies and we did update some of them, but unfortunately we were not able to complete all of them that needed to be updated before the turn of the new board. So having a subcommittee would probably um, be advantageous for us to get that done since we as a full board never found time either in our meetings or meeting elsewhere outside the meeting to get those done. Sure, thank you. Um, the chair recognizes Elena Testa. Yes, and uh, just to speed things up a little bit, I am willing to work on it, so I could nominate myself. If somebody else is interested, I thought in just somebody else is interested. Maybe we should just nominate ourselves and, you know, save some time. So for me, I'm interested. Thank you, Elena. The chair recognizes Kathy Gidman. Yep, Kathy Ryan Gidman board member um i was gonna offer to take part on the committee subcommittee as well so i don't know how many you're looking for total um but that is something that i would be willing to help with excellent thank you very much so that sounds like um elena and kathy the chair recognizes elena were you did you want to say something quickly elena that's the vice chair. I just want to uh, answer, Cassie, we can have, as far as I understand, as far as I know, we can have any amount of member, but less than four. So three, two, even one, I guess, if somebody is willing, because we cannot approve anything, we're just working. Whatever the results we will produce, we will have to bring it to the board for the approval. So uh, it's, thank you, Cassie. <laughs> That's what I can say. All right, excellent. So um, uh, I guess, do we need to vote on the formation of the subcommittee? We do. Okay. The chair recognizes Kathy Ryan Gidman. Um, given the, that um, uh, Karen Ann's not here, and I don't know, Joy, what your feelings are. I mean, should, Joy, I don't know if you want to participate on the subcommittee as well, um, or whether it's possible to contact and offer the position to Karen Ann to join Elena and me on the subcommittee. Um, even though if, if we vote on it now that's a question if it could be if we could grow the subcommittee uh by one person that's a good question joy did you want to say something um if i i don't really have a lot of time but if you need me to um throw my two cents in in regards to what the board was working on with the policies last year i can if that helps um if you need me to work on the committee, I can do my part. So that, right. that's my two, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. The yeah. chair recognizes Elena Testa. Yes, I just, uh, I think it's, as long as we don't have four members, we are okay. So, and then um, as for Karen Ann, um, it could be so good if she would say yes to the treasury or treasure position. So we don't really want to overwhelm her. And she's the only one who, from the beginning, said, okay, I'll consider the treasurer. So let's hope she didn't change her mind. But as for, uh, to say to Cassie, we can add people. Like, for example, if it's just Cassie and me, uh, and if Joy wouldn't be interested now, we could add another person at any time. So there is no problem with that. But it's wonderful that Joy is ready. I mean, that's super. So, but people uh, with with committees, people can resign. Saying it's very easy. It's there is, so if you don't have time, you say sorry. I overestimated myself, and that's okay. You just leave the space, and hopefully somebody else will get there. But it's it's nothing like the board members. So. All right, excellent. Thank you. Um, so I make a motion to form a bylaw and policy subcommittee um, with Elena Testa. Kathy Ryan Gibman as uh, seated members. Joy Rona won. And Joy Rona as, we'll call her an alternate. Yeah, oh. that's fine. <laughs> All right. uh, do I have a second? second I'll second it. All right, Elena Joy seconds. All those in favor of the formation of said committee say aye. 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 Carrie aye. Donaldson, Kathy Ryan Gibman, Elena Testa, Joy Rona. Uh, all say aye. All opposed say nay. Any abstentions? Motion passed.
taxes. The next item is merging grant with Parks and Rec, which we touched on as much as I think we can touch on right now. Um, again, the director will be sending a video to the board once he's medically cleared to uh, do so. Um, we can pose questions then. Um, and I'm sure we might have to have another meeting beforehand. I mean, obviously this will be something under old business. So I uh, make a motion that we table this agenda item until the next meeting. I said, I have a second. second. Excellent. All in favor, say aye. 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 Terry Donaldson, Kathy Ryan Goodman, Elena Testa, Joey Rona. Aye. All opposed, say nay. Excellent. Motion passes. Okay. Um, so we pretty much just zoomed through that. That was great. But I'm sorry. Terry, can um, I make a comment about your subcommittee? Yes, the chair recognizes Erica Wasinski. I just want to remind you all, um, again, um, as many of you are, are new to the board, that any of your subcommittees are also public meetings and have to be posted in the same way. So in this time, they'll be have to be held in this way and then recorded. So just keep that in mind when choosing a date. Your subcommittee meetings are still public meetings. Thank you. The chair recognizes Elena Testa. I don't think so, Erica. Uh, we have, I'm on the policy committee on the Board of Education. And they are all posted meetings. Has, nope. nope. Yes. I, you, I've never Elena, you can, we can agree to disagree and you can okay. double check with the Board of Education, but all meetings of town boards and commissions, even subcommittee meetings are public meetings. Anyone can attend them. Most people don't, but in this time we have to follow the rules for public meetings. And so I just want to um, oh, yes. remind us all. I agree, it needs to be announced perfectly. Yes, I'm sorry, I kind of missed the point. Yes, you're right. Sorry. They have to, they have to be, it's a posted meeting. Yes, yes. Always. Yes. All right, excellent, thank you. Um, do we have any announcements? All right, uh, then I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Do I have a second? I'll second. Do, do I have Rona? Secretary? Thank you. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. That's uh, Lena Testa, Kathy Ryan Gibbon, Carrie Donaldson, Joy Rona. All opposed? All right. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.